What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Thirteen Colonies. Sort of round off what happened last time, uh, this time under Tristan Dalton, newly raised in Italy, is pushing east to try and open up the corridor back to Zagreb and to make some offensive pushes on towards Poland. Got a reasonable chunk of troops against us, and the reinforcing stack looks pretty depleted so that's not much of a concern. So I think this is a good opportunity to, to destroy some Polish troops and it also means we finally gain resolute control of the remaining port because they intend on garrisoning that with a unit of dragoons or some such. But without further ado, let's fight. So this is part of my out by enemies before... No, no. No, I, no, I am at war with Russia, I think. You know what, it's been a while actually, it's been a while actually since, I've been, since I've played 13 colonies, so... You know what, I might make to... Uh, I might not shoot my mouth off too much about <laughs> what we should and shouldn't do. Till I... Like I... Sometimes I play one... I play an, I record an episode from each campaign. Sometimes I record about... Three or four from one. But then of course that means... I don't touch it for a while. And then things might have changed. Let's put two units of artillery up on this rise, that's quite a handy position. Although to be honest I might actually put them put them all up here. In lines so there's less chance of friendly fire. I mean I've got a very veteran left flank holding the hill. Our mortars are going to be placed up, right up front. Our heavy horse hearts are actually going to hold. Spare unit grenadiers can hold the right flank. General's bodyguard stays behind. And let's click play. Okay, so we know, now we know where they are deployed. You guys go for this big block of cavalry. Okay, let's start the advance. Send my grenadiers around to capture the hill. But my main battle line advance to maintain integrity of the line and also to put some pressure in. So we've got some Polish Marines. Ooh, excellent shot there from someone. My howitzers can drop quick line, but. I want to fire off some round shot to help to regain some levels of experience. Mortars are doing a good job at knocking out their guns. Yeah, that's one team routed. It's one of the nice fetching green jackets. So more artillery shots come in. And they are marching up to meet us, which is awfully nice of them. So because of this feature here, I probably want to crank this unit around on the flank. Because these guys can't... Well, they can, it says they can go up here, but I, I am yet to be convinced. To target some artillery to soften up that part of the line. So you to engage this unit of line infantry. No, nope, keep going against the cavalry. That's a lovely position to be in. Howard is dropping in some lovely shots on the front. Mm, I think they might, we might just have to push up. And this could be a bit tough. Because we will be... Marching up into canister shots range. Set my infantry to run because we've got not got much time to hang around. Same with you guys, you can run up around the flank. Although the guns aren't firing, so I think it's a good old bug in effect. Bouncing cannonball shots. Oh, one of them's firing. 
They're both firing. These guys need to be ready just to drop straight into square formation. 13 colonies, Grenadiers, the ninth. Which look rather nice. Normally I'm not as much of a fan of these big plates on the front of their helmets. But normally I'm more of a fan of this for Guardsmen. But our 13 colonies ones, I think they, they look pretty good. So the main battle line has been joined. Cover on the flank is still in a dangerous position. One of my 13 colonies aren't in position. Okay. The charge is off, so... I'm still running around the flanks, so need to be careful of that. So let's pick this unit of line. I mean, they seem... Drop you into square, drop you into square, get you out of square. Reconfigure my artillery. And this is what I wanted. Let's get these guys up and kick in. So we've still got this unit out here on the flank. A new near blunderbuss shotgunners. So line infantry guards form square. They're out of artillery range. So what I want to do is use my grenadiers to clear out this formation and I'll pivot my rest of my army around. Square formation. Now ah, the poles charged us. Okay, so these guys need to charge into the combat quickly to help take out the grenadiers. No, not, not the grenadiers, but the infantry that are attacking us. Let's run my grenadiers around because Polish Marines are pretty darn good. Good. Get out of square, then immediately charge the marines. Same with this line infantry unit. Not an artillery range yet. Okay, run these guys around to form a blocking line. I can see them charging. You want my grenadiers? They do. Form square, damn it. You have out the marines. These guys are reforming, they're not routing. Reinforcements coming in from back corner. These guys will form a blocking force, both for the reinforcements and the enemies coming in. There we go. Get these guys out of square, form a line. Okay, you guys need to get back here rapidly, retarget the artillery to hit. Get all my artillery to pound. Where's my general? 
Get my general involved against the blunderbuss shotgunners. Grenadiers spin around. Some friendly artillery fire. So they've gone. Spin my line around. Charging down the hill towards us, but I don't see they can do too much damage. Let's form up our new line. So our elites have gone into position and seen them off. These guys can form a bit of an attrition reserve. Let's move our mortars up. The artillery is as good back there as it was before because of the supreme range. I'll try to go after the general's bodyguard. So it looks like they want to charge my marines. Form square. Oh, got a direct hit onto them. Another hit. There's no point in reshooting really the horse artillery with my artillery, but it's more about stopping the fratricide. Well, one of you, you, go after the general's bodyguard here. This enemy died in the square formation. Stuff. And my army, march up. It's where the reinforcements are coming from. All my foot artillery engage the general's bodyguard. Misses my hit my marines. Oh, it's got rid of them though. Got a couple of them, good, and they're shattered. Let's turn off fire for them. Let's bring my general up. And let's triple speed, because right now there's not really much purpose in. watching quite what's going on. Charge! Well, not charge, but you know, run up into position. That's a bit, ex that's a bit optimistic. Nope, I was, well, I was gonna bane a charge if he didn't fall back. So they're all tired. Line infantry guard unit. No, I thought they might be ready to fire. So these guys are killing the way, so let's do that. position. As we pour fire into the enemy. First Grenadier Regiment. 
destroyed. No medals for you, boys. Ooh, foot guard unit. That's the only strong, the only complete unit, I think. proper units in the mix so I can get my guards unit somewhere a bit safer on the flank and give them a bit more support because these guys have been these guys have been hurt they're hurt bad the first regiment of foot I already have the first and the 71st You're already poor fire into the scum. Yeah, but they have fallen. That means the 17th Regiment of Foot will be taking some fire. Foot howitzer units are now marching into the field. Let's advance these guys up to the edge of the tree line. It's actually pretty badass. I mean, they're very tired. Well, not very tired, but they're tired. Plus, we're making Europe run red with Polish blood. My Marines advance out of the field, out of the trees. Almost immediately with nothing in range. Actually, the 59th is in range. Oh, apparently not. Oh, they're just out. up our main line. Well, to be honest, I could probably stand to push these guys up a lot further. Ah, the mortars are still firing! All oh, the howitzers are still firing, sorry. Get them, boys. I was looking at their uh, banner. Not banner, but Colours, that's the word I was looking for. So these guys are going to kill kill their crewmen. Okay, get you into position. Cavalry. Nice of them to charge my marines of all units. Just fight them. Come on, the 72nd is going to be the one to do the most damage here. Oh no, they're reforming. Oh, they form two squares. How cute. Obviously our musket fire is devastating. Let's form the marines back up. Yep, and they have fallen. The devils. Um, let's 
continue the battle quickly just because a, these guys are still in still in range. So my general after the cavalry, although they will probably rout. It's just so I can get the last handful of kills, really. Yep, there's the edge of the map. That was not close. No way, Jose. Established our lines of communication to the east. Destroyed more than half their forces. Oop. Pushed them into Russian hey, territory. Mark. Replenish where you stand. Yes, sir. Well, to be honest, let's move Whoa, these this infantry up and let's start a merging to maintain. To maintain the quality of our troops. Because yes, then sir. we can move two infantry in. Forward. March. <sighs> Too bad. Your humble servant. Let's pull that infantry unit out. The fresh one in. Forward. You fall back to Madrid. Your orders, your for majesty. repairs. You guys fix yourselves up. Lord. Guns can't move. So I'd like someone to boot out. Oh yeah, actually, because they're just about to finish building it. Bonk. <laughs> Let's get you back. Because then that means... You've not necessarily got the zone of control to stop me from just zooming in some of my ships, in fact, these ships can come over here, destroy the remnant of Polish of the Polish Navy. I mean, they've got access to the the Baltic to the north, away. and we will take your fourth rate. Fleet ready. Now occupy their port. So they have access to the ocean from the north, which would, it would be nice to shut down, and maybe I will. Because this is blocked, we've blocked their access to the Med, although we do still, we are still at war with Russia, so that's not completely free. But we are proceeding everywhere, but because I'm making, because I've got no cash, doing a lot of trade except with Britain, which to be honest I should probably just kill them, but I've not got a free Navy, because I want them to stay here. It's funny, it says my navy's full strength, but I've actually got a... Uh, Dido is hurt. Huh. I always need to get around to building, to building sloops in all of these ports. But, that's a fine turn, I think. Go on, Great Britain. Sail that navy somewhere useful. Well, apparently not. Hmm. Good. Another mission. So now we've allied with the Netherlands, and that's given us a secure northern flank from the United Provinces. At least for now. If they betray us, then they get huge penalties. That's my field army, isn't it? Nope, not yet. If it was my city near Croatia, I would have taken it, but it was not, sadly. Let them raid. The Ottomans are on the move. Now it's the almighty behemoth of Russia. <laughs> um, but soon they should they should be a bit upset at us for taking Athens. <sighs> oh, it's the Russian navy. Yep. 
where is it going to sail? Is it going to hit my navy near the Med, near Gibraltar? Don't know where it's going to be. Ooh, we are being hit by an army from outside the city. We're absolutely going to take this as an opportunity to destroy the Westphalian garrison. So let's do it. It's just an absolute crap ton of poor quality, which makes them nice and easy to chew up and destroy. Back on the Pepsi Max with a raspberry, because it is very, very delicious. Reinforcing army should be coming from over here. So I want to engage them up on this plateau, if, if possible. So let's drop a couple of guns facing... They'll face the army as they come up the hill. Deploy a line of four. Up like here. A couple more guns out on the flank, which will march up. With a bit of cover. Then these guys will also have cover. Well, these guns will have cover. One heavy cav unit apiece. General in the centre. How it is ready to provide quick line of support to whoever needs it. And actually, it's quite nice because they're actually much more conventionally placed than I thought they'd be. Well, when I mean, when I mean conventionally placed, I mean coming from a a regular direction. Yep, they're running up. Puzzles. So here's their reinforcements. General's bodyguard, cavalry, and lots and lots of poor, poor infantry. Getting some absolutely cracking shots off, so my how it is. Bouncing shot there, killing a few men, including the officer, struck down by a cannonball. So they might get they'll get the charge bonus off against me. But my cavalry, a heavy cavalry, and we obviously shot them to pieces as they made the charge. So if my heavy cavalry can beat their cavalry, they're broken. So as there's a bit of a rout, you may as well right click on them just to get a few more easy kills, because when they're broken they die almost instantly. Charge them onto the one to the second regiment or the other regiment of force. Fire everything you got. Vincent is yes, Eisen, Eisenberg. Heisenberg! So they're going to get into charge range? No, you need a line infantry. It's routed. Now they're both routed. So that leaves this infantry on the flank, the 105th. Ready to hit the second. My other cavalry got a job. Should do. Square! General's getting shot to bits, which is nice. Regiments. They look pretty good. 
then done for. Prinzensberg, they are also done for. So the 10th foot guards are very, very poorly. This infantry guard unit might get hit in the back with the charge, and it has. But things got to be done to try to kill this enemy cavalry. But the cavalry still keep dis trying to disengage. But we ride them down. So let's set these two guys up to chase after them. Pivot you around. Both blast the hell out of this infantry unit. And the cavalry back to a safe position. I'd like to use my cavalry to chase them down. But they are one shattered and one's just broken. Okay, let's let's and lim limber out my guns. And then move up to a new... These guns I never even deployed. It's time to move up into a new position to engage the reinforcing troops. You guys cover this ridge. My central four units cover the gap between my guns, especially quickly because it looks like they are going to be here soon. Push my howitzers up. I must admit, I expected a bit more of a I'd get to make a bit more of a push than what I've already have. Because the enemy militia, as they've reached the range of the 20th, and some of them have ran too far on ahead. Yep, yeah, four 14th. Get these guys lobbing round shots onto the infantry coming in. <laughs> Fundamentally, this is going to be a bit of a speedy battle because they're coming in one unit at a time. He just got hit with a load of volleys. There we go, now they're doing damage. We've got some protection from the hills. <laughs> More rounds pour in. This is just slaughter. Could chase them down, but I don't think there's any real need. Keep these guns firing round shot. You guys engage the second regiment of foot at close range. Definitely shifting somewhere in a hurry. The 18th is getting pounded in the center. Oh. You guys engaged the 17th instead. Some 
good shots there. It's 13 dead, although it must have been some other two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maybe dead bodies there. They go after my heavy cavalry. Let's turn them on fire at will. No, turn the fire will off. I'm right there, shaking. He just got cut to ribbons. Yeah, they're considering it a worthwhile trade off if they get my cavalry. Okay, we, we've not made them route, so I want to pull my infantry out of there. Turn fight will on in the nick of time, so most of our cavalry are out of the way. Good stuff. The fourth are charging up into point blank range. They're shuffling. Drop some canister shot on them. The other gun set of guns start dropping. Round shot on the cavalry in the distance. Keep the guns firing. Landvair, Landvair Militia, yeah, they've not managed to hold. So we've got a very experienced unit of guards, but that's because there's not many of them left. The ones that have survived are the ones that have got very good experience. Yep, the 18th is going down. Five men remaining. Should be the end of them. It's good how it says to start engaging these units on the flank. Ah! Where do these Grenadier Guards come from? Go over here and help out with them. Broken. So these guys are doing. The experience is going up faster with round shot than it is with other munition types, it feels like. These guys, the malicious. Yeah, I was trying to use militia to flank around to kill my heavy cavalry once more. In come the howitzer shots. Misses, but let's use my heavy cavalry to, to take them out. Redeploy our howitzers to hit the militia. And they've landed some good shots. So it feels like in a battle you don't need your artillery to perform, you may as well go round shot to try and crank up some experience, just to gain uh, accuracy and reloading skill experience. The 41st is one of the regiments that's going to maintain a lot of experience. Four chevrons, we lost three men. Excellent shot from the howitzers. The miss, which was upsetting. Who's that at the back? Cavalry unit, right at the rear. It's the general. Oh, 
Body first, once more opening up. So many kills, so much experience. Go for the first of the rear. Let's deploy my cavalry. Artillery, Landwehr Militia, and Prince Innsberg Infantry. Some great shots are coming in from the howitzers. These guys are sadly going to be slaughtered in front of us. Broken. So that's the really cool thing with fire by rank is that the volley impacts of you know volley, volley, volley. Every volley cranks the morale down quite a lot. Whereas if you did something like platoon fire, which I've not actually seen for ages in this game, you the morale effect is much more staggered. Cavalry. Target my howitzers, oh, no need. Look at all the bodies. So they've immediately running, running to go after my heavy cavalry. First is back, marching back into the maelstrom. The selection of them are actually in range. Nope. Nope, they have had enough. So my artillery can keep going engaging cavalry. I think this is going to be a speed up battle now because everyone's everyone has been repulsed general has been killed it's a deploy deploy guys to get kills battle now which also means continue hold, hold fire artillery Let's get my general in. Chase them down. Let's finish them off. Try and intercept them. Good general. War general. That's what we want to see. And these guys need to get as much experience as possible because they're going to lose a lot when they replenish. Yeah, if they go after this big block of infantry, that's a crazy amount of kills there potentially. Left. Got them. Um, let me try to go after them, but they might rout. General's gone up an experience level. You can help this infantry kill them. 
Give another cavalry unit. Yeah, I think it's going to make it to them. Oops, wrong ones. There we go. Slaughter the Westphalians. Yeah, they're going to escape. Maybe. Oh, one man's escaped. Decisive victory. Damn right that was decisive. Holy hell, we slaughtered them. Poor quality infantry is not what you want at the core of your army. Nearly 4,000 men killed for the loss of 413 colonists. Royalists. <laughs> there is a port in this region. Enemy what enemy not raid, eh? That's in Greece. Select the type of port to construct here. Official. Okay, first sloop. 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 Are you being taxed? Yes, you are. Good. Ah, navy stuff, eh? Let's build a fourth right there. God damn, I've got so many upgrades. Let's upgrade the vineyards. Let's upgrade the engineer school just to keep my experience level ticking up and high. Repair the line infantry. Let's recruit. Let's repair you and you. So. Let's replenish you because we've got lots of roaming forces here. Let's go for roads in Greece. Let's go for some military buildings for reinforcements. Then in Paris. Not sure what we want exactly yet. Economic buildings, that's what we want. You, my friend, who got hammered. The United Provinces have immediately started to crank out some cool looking troops. Too bad I can't make them my protectorate. Let's see if we can make Britain. No. Can I make anyone a protectorate? I don't think I can because I'm a. Oh, I am a major. Settlement under siege! <laughs> I mean, I think I could probably just <laughs> just take them. Um, I think I might do actually, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the final destruction of Cologne. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>